Hello everybody and welcome to ZF Mobility Solutions, the mobility solutions provider for your engineering needs in automotive applications and autonomous driving. My name is Mustafa Hussain. I'm developer for calibration here at ZF Mobility Solutions. Today, I will take you with me to experience live one of our exciting newest developments, targetless sensor calibration after service. Normally, calibration of vehicles involves bulky equipment like the target we see here and lengthy measurement procedures. This makes calibration indeed a time-consuming process. Our new method, however, is based on a normal drive with a safety driver on a regular urban route, therefore reducing the time needed from hours to just a couple of minutes. So let's dive in. The relative orientation and position of all sensors of an autonomous vehicle to each other and to the vehicle frame must be known accurately and satisfy the design tolerances at any moment of operation. Sensor calibration is the process of estimating the mounting poses of sensors and testing them against the design specifications. If calibration cannot be done accurately, then the safety of the passengers and the traffic participants is indeed at risk. Autonomous shuttles allow for a potential inspection and maintenance after each shift. Subsequently, the sensors may need to be calibrated again. Our software significantly reduces these needed calibration efforts after service. Now we are inside the vehicle. Let's see together how we can visually find problems with calibration. First, let's take a look at the sensor data of our vehicle based on the sensor mounting poses taken from the design specifications. While the sensor data roughly aligns, we can see that we have here several mismatches in couple degrees of freedom. So, we can see that the green points, which represent one high-dense slider, is not matching well with the orange points, which are representing another high-dense slider. The same applies also to the black points, which are representing a low-dense slider, and the red points, which are representing greater sensor. Let us show you now how our service calibration process looks like and see if we can improve the situation together. Our software can run directly in the vehicle, on a diagnosis device, or offline with recordings in a cloud. Today, we want to calibrate in real time with a diagnosis device. We have already connected a diagnosis notebook to this autonomous vehicle over TCP IP and started our calibration software. Our user interface has a reduced design to make the calibration process as easy as possible. Therefore, it is only focusing on starting, stopping and resetting, and saving the calibration results directly to the vehicle. A progress bar indicates the status of each sensor and the overall calibration progress. Once the calibration progress reaches 100%, this is an indication that the calibration is successfully finished and within our accuracy requirements. In the negative case, the software will indicate the problem by turning the problematic sensor into red. Our service calibration satisfies under benign conditions a set of accuracy, availability, and repeatability requirements, which we can see here written below. We certify our calibration products with a study according to the MSA standard. So now let's drive. The safety driver controls the environment outside of the vehicle to ensure safety now, because the sensors are not calibrated yet. We can see now that the overall calibration progress reaches around 70 to 80 percent and we have driven for about three minutes so it will take us more or less around three to five minutes more to reach 100 percent. We have now driven for about eight minutes and we can see that we have all the progress bars reached already 100 percent. So now let's save the results and upload them to the vehicle and see how the sensor data aligns together. Let's have a look now on the results together. As before, the sensor data roughly aligns. Let us now focus on the problematic sections and see if we got any improvements. Obviously, the sensor data aligns perfectly with each other. All the green, orange, red and black point clouds, they match perfectly together. The sensor data also is well aligned with the vehicle frame. However, we cannot visually verify this now. For the latter, we offer an optional method based on reference objects, which we will explain in a separate video. I hope that you enjoyed our demonstration of the service calibration provided by the ZF Mobility Solutions. Our team offers many other exciting products like autonomous end-of-line systems and online calibration and misalignment detection. We are looking forward to give you a demo of our software with your vehicle. For more information, please reach out to us via zms.sales at zf.com. Thank you, stay safe and goodbye.